crew I am back with another video and today is transformation day I am getting ready to transform this wig into something special so you guys don't want to miss it go ahead and hit that like button the share button and comment below on what you think right at the end of this video even right during the video comment and let me know what you think it is a lace front and it is not plucked it is not tweezed it has absolutely no shape but I'm about to give it some shape and give it some color so you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned and watch to the end of the video. You don't want to miss it. And you don't want to even miss what happens in between now and the end of the, of the video. Just don't go away until it's over. All right, you guys, I'm going to begin by mixing a 20 volume with my lightener. I used a Clairol for my volume and the lightener, I believe is Clairol as well. Now, at this point I am applying the lightener to my wig from the mid shaft all the way to the ends. Today we're gonna actually do a ombre effect and I'm gonna lighten this from a level two all the way to a level around six or seven. As you guys can see, I got a little creative and incorporated the green in with these two beautiful blondes. I didn't have everything that I needed, like the foils, at home. So, as you can see, um, I basically just randomly put green um, on top of the already highlights that I have. Um, I went in another time is what I didn't show on this video too and lighten it again um, just to get a uh, get more dimension so as you can see I'm finally getting into the shape of this wig I am cutting her hair into a nice bob with a little elevation in the back and you know um i just wanted a really soft feel which is why i'm using the razor and i like to mention that i'm cutting this bob a little longer than i would normally cut it simply because it's on a mannequin and i want to customize it to my own head the point of me having green in this bob is simply because I just wanted some color I will be wearing this while I am quarantining and you know I just wanted to make sure I have a little of my personality with it but my point I was trying to make was with having the green in not so perfectly you want to make sure you have some great texture to it so that the green can blend in well Now as you can see I'm going in I'm tweezing around my hairline a little more. It is very, very thick. So I wanted to make sure that I have a realistic hairline. And I skip right on into the bow hole. I'm getting ready to apply the bow hole around my edges. I don't want to keep my wig on, but I want to make sure you guys understand that you have to put the bold hole on twice so application is twice drying in between each application for it to hold good enough but I love bold hole and as you can see I'm using my makeup and 
applying the makeup to the cap just so I can have a more realistic look to my lace. I actually applied the makeup to the lace as well. Just note that it's important to have a cream or powder based foundation applied to the cap otherwise the foundation will bleed through. Okay, so now I'll begin with sectioning off a few hairs around the hairline. I don't like a lot of baby hairs. Um, all I want is a few wisps around the, around the hairline. Alright, so now I'm going to adjust my wig to where I can wear a full swing bang or off my face. So I've used the Got To Be Glue spray just to hold the wig, you know, on my front hairline and my pretty tame please cop that this is my pretty tame edge control you can get that at www.prettycockyessentials.net and i use that around my edges as well now guys will see a change in just a second hold on keep watching i'm already feeling myself so yes, the wig has taken its form, guys. I actually love it. Um, I slowed it up just so you can see the form of the hair and the shape of it. And voila! You guys, I absolutely love this wig. It is movable. It feels just like real hair. And most of all, it has the little touch of green in it that I mentioned earlier. Um, as you can see, I meshed that green up with my eyes. <laughs> All right, Pretty Cocky Crew, thank you so much for watching. This is one of my favorite videos so far. I really love this video simply because I was able to transform one wig from crazy to this. I really love the wig itself. Um, I'll be putting information about this wig down below. You will soon be able to purchase it. Um, also, I wanted to make sure you guys knew to go on www.prettycockyessentials.net to purchase the pretty protective heat guard that I used on this wig today. This protective heat guard, man, let me tell you about this. It keeps my hair from frizzing. And it keeps, you know, even natural hair from frizzing as well. It keeps your cuticles closed and it keeps heat from penetrating all the way down to the cuticle, which could, which could eventually burn the hair. So, this pretty protective heat guard is great for that and it's also great for shine. The next thing I want you guys to go ahead and go online right now, hit that button, like, comment, and subscribe before you go over there. But I want you to also go and purchase my pretty tame edge control. I use the edge control on this wig as well. You don't have to worry about the shine. You don't have to worry about, you know, you know the, um, residue. I don't have that issue when it comes to my product. So make sure you hit that notification bell and let your girl know you know what you think below thank you so much for watching and as always keep it cocky peace